Hello, my name is Dr. Elan Levine. I'm going to talk to you about a survey um, for mothers of preterm babies that looked at their breastfeeding outcomes and their mental health. We know that mothers of preterm babies have higher levels of mental health problems than mothers of term babies. And we also know that mothers of preterm babies have shorter periods of breast milk feeding than mothers of term babies. So this survey um, was interested to look at the connection between distress, poor mental health and lactation in families in the UK after preterm birth. This was an online survey. It was designed as a patient public involvement project for a planned research trial um, and therefore it did not require specific ethical approval. It was posted on the social media channels of a national charity for premature and sick babies um, for a one week period. And the invitation was very simple and simply asked mothers who had experience of prematurity in general to share their experiences of expressing milk and breastfeeding. <clears throat> there was an overwhelming response. So we had 675 responses in that one week period and the survey was closed early because it was such an overwhelming response. Unsurprisingly, for um, a survey that was advertised on social media, the sample was skewed. So the respondents were older than we would have expected um, according to the age frequency of UK preterm birth. Uh, the respondents were more white than expected. They breastfed for longer periods than you would expect and they had lower gestation babies than you might expect. For example, only 15% um, of premature babies in the UK are less than 32 weeks, whereas 71% of the respondents had babies less than 32 weeks. There were several qualitative themes that came out of the online questionnaire. One was um, that people felt they had a poor milk supply and that this made them anxious and they felt like a failure because of the low amount of milk that they could express for their babies. A second theme was stress caused by external factors that could have been modified or improved. So for example, stress caused by poor lactation support from those around them and stress caused by feeling judged um, based on their milk volumes or pressurized to express. Another theme was that expressing itself exacerbated poor mental health. So for example, emphasizing the loneliness and separation from the baby or being a competition with other factors that could be protective of mental health. In the reverse direction, uh, mothers also frequently talked about the impact of their anxiety on lactation. So the fact that being anxious reduced their milk volumes and that being anxious reduced their ability to transition to responsive breastfeeding. So in summary, this was a large but skewed sample. It showed that problems with expressing milk and breastfeeding were very frequent in mothers of preterm babies that lactation is a significant source of distress to many, and that milk supply was a frequent source of this anxiety. Mothers also felt that poor mental health impaired the volume of expressed milk and their transition to direct breastfeeding.